Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow spinach in I do 8 pod hydroponic system. This variety of spinach is called Bloomsdale long standing spinach. I have grown this spinach many times in many of my hydroponic systems. Germination is a little bit tricky with spinach seeds. For successful germination and consistent growth, I always use paper towel method. At the same time, I also keep on exploring the easiest ways to start the gardens. End of the day, the gardening should be easy peasy. So I'm going to start the seeds straight into this garden and see how that's going to turn out. First, I'm going to make the pod. I'm using some off-brand sponges. I don't have any stickers, so I'm using some aluminum foil as sticker. Then make a hole in the center. Just make it big enough to drop the seeds. This is good. Now I am dropping two seeds into this pod. That's it. The pod is ready. Now I am going to repeat the same for all the remaining pods. Alright, the garden is ready with eight pods and two seeds in each pod. As always, I will add water, but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. I will use maxi grow nutrition throughout this grow cycle. Let's see how this is going to turn out. It's been five days. Only one out of 16 seeds germinated. At least this seedling is coming nice. I don't see any signs of germination from other seeds. Day 11. I still have no luck with the germination. It is the same seedling that has shown up earlier. Good thing is the seeds are looking good so I am going to wait and see. At the same time I will also start a few seeds using the paper towel method in case none of those seeds germinate. Alright. The seeds are ready in this paper towel. I'm going to leave it in a dark and warm place. Let's see how many of these will germinate. Day 18, still no luck. The only seedling that showed up earlier is finally gave up because I did not add nutrition yet. This is expected. There is no point adding nutrition for just one seedling. It is time to give up on these seeds. Now let's take a look at the seeds that I started using Ziploc method. I already see a lot of positive signs. Looks like there is a lot of good news. Let's open it. I'm just being very gentle. Wow, look at these roots. That's an excellent news. Woohoo! Look at these wonderful seedlings. Wow! It's time to transplant these seedlings into Ido and start feeding them. I have a bunch of seedlings well enough for Ido and a few more gardens. These seedlings are already leggy and a little weak. They must be starving. So I will transplant and start feeding them. It is very easy process. Just slit and open the sponge, then place the seedling deep into the sponge. Place it into the pod and cover the pod with stickers. Since I don't have stickers, I am reusing the same foil that I used when I started the seeds directly. Now I am repeating the same process for rest of the pods. It takes some time but easy to do. Alright, I am done transplanting all the seedlings and here they are. Hopefully this is a good start. It's been two days since I transplanted the seedlings. They all seem to be survived and looking healthy. Day 10, look at these beautiful baby plants. They are not seedlings anymore. That's the beauty of spinach. Starting spinach is tough, but once we sorted it out, they don't stop anywhere. Day 14, spinach is coming excellent. Lots of leaves have reached to a decent size. 
If I want, I can start harvesting this baby spinach. Spinach is one of the fastest growing leafy green vegetables and this is the reason I love to grow spinach all the time. As I keep harvesting the leaves, the plants will keep on producing more leaves. It's been 23 days. Look at this garden. It is fully occupied with lots of spinach. And look at these leaves. They are gigantic. It's not just one or two leaves. Pretty much all the leaves are very similar. They are gigantic. They are thick and crisp. It's a beautiful spinach. And this Ido worked out very well. I am very happy with this experiment and very happy with this productivity. This spinach is ready to harvest and I am going to harvest it today or tomorrow. And I think this is going to continue for a long time. Let's see. It's day 25. The more and more spinach is showing up now. And it's time to start harvesting. Look at these gigantic leaves. Wow. By the way, I have been using MaxiGrow Nutrition from the beginning. And I have been adding half a teaspoon of nutrition for every one liter of water. That is all the spinach needed. Nothing else. MaxiGrow proven to be working very well for spinach from all my experiments I did so far. Overall, it is clearly proven that we can grow spinach successfully in I do. All we need to do is start the seedlings using paper towel method and transplant the seedlings. Never start the seeds directly in I do or any other hydroponic system. If you are extremely lucky, you may get some seeds germinated, but I don't take any chances. I want fast and consistent results. So, wet paper towel method is my best friend all the time. Once you have the seedlings ready, the combination of I do and Maxi Grow will do the wonder. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening. By the way, spinach goes very well with egg omelette. It's a great breakfast and I can eat it pretty much every day. I never get bored of egg omelette made with fresh spinach. This is what called as garden to table. And I call it I do to omelette. So if you have never tried spinach in egg omelette, I highly recommend you to give it a try. If you try, please let me know how you like it.